Hey everyone, it is day 15 of my Mediterranean diet. That means I have two full weeks on this diet in the books. And today I'm going to tell you how much weight I've lost. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about why diet is a more effective means of losing weight than exercise. Um, <clears throat> first of all, for the numbers, um, when I got on the scale, I weighed 200.8 nine pounds. I started out 15 days ago at 208.9 pounds. That means I've lost exactly eight pounds in two weeks on the Mediterranean diet. Now, um, we're going to talk a little bit about some things that I ate over the last week, but first I want to talk about these numbers. If, you'll, if you've seen some of the earlier videos, I talked about how um, prior to this, I jogged for four months, and during those four months, when I was regularly running, I was I was running for four or five days a week, uh, and I was getting up to some pretty long runs for me anyway. Um, <clears throat> and during that time, I lost a total of five pounds in four months. Now, during that time, I did not change my diet. I was using my exercise as an excuse not to change my diet. I thought. I'll just keep eating whatever I want, but I'll add running, that way I won't keep getting fatter. And it worked. I did not gain weight during those four months. In fact, I lost five pounds, which is great. Um, <clears throat> but here I am, after just two weeks on the Mediterranean diet, and I've lost eight pounds. Whereas four months of running led to a weight loss of five pounds. So pretty quickly, I, start, I said to my wife, you know, I'm losing, I'm losing fat way faster doing the diet than I, I was when I was active, when I was running. Um, it's important to note that when I was running, that was exercise without changing my diet, and now I've changed my diet, but I'm not exercising. So I can see what happens with either one, and for me, personally, um, exercise is not as quick a way to lose weight as a healthy diet. And it turns out if you do like one Google search, you're going to find that that's true for everybody. A, a healthy diet is a better way to lose weight than exercise. Most nutritionists agree. There are some rogue nutritionists out there who disagree with this, but most of them agree that the way that you gain or lose weight has to do with how many calories you consume versus how many calories you use up. Calories in versus calories out. So if you want to lose weight, you need to take in fewer calories than you expend. And if, what's that called? That's called a calorie deficiency or something. If you have a calorie deficiency, then you're gonna lose weight. So there's two ways to make sure that you're taking in fewer calories than you're expending. And as long as you're taking in fewer calories than you're expending, then you're gonna lose weight. One way is to just eat less or eat better, as the case of the Mediterranean diet. Uh, or the other way is to just use more calories, do exercise. Ideally, you do both. You, you make a better diet for yourself and you also do exercise. And that way, you're definitely going to lose more weight. But if you are only going to do one or the other, it's a lot easier to control how many calories you take in than it is to make sure that you expend more calories. There's a couple reasons for this. First of all, exercise does not burn as many calories as people think. Most of us think that if, we, if I get out there and I'm really active for a half hour or 45 minutes or an hour in a day, that that's going to that's gonna use up tons of calories and I'm going to be able to eat whatever I want and it's going to be fine. But the average person who's, who's going on a strenuous jog, you can jog for 30 minutes and burn 360 calories. Um, to put things in perspective, you can consume 360 calories by eating six Oreo cookies. Now, if you're the kind of person who sits down and eats six Oreo cookies all at once, a jog is what's gonna be required for you to not gain weight from just those cookies, much less everything else you're eating during the day. So you can eat those six cookies and go for a half hour jog and those six cookies won't do any damage to you. But you can see the the imbalance here, right? There's 
that's a lot of work for just six little cookies. <clears throat> the other reason why exercise isn't as helpful as some people think is that exercise increases your appetite. So some of the benefits of burning the calories are negated by the fact that you're eating more food because you're hungrier, because you're exercising. So all of this means if you were just to do one, just diet or just exercise, dieting is going to help you lose more weight. Now, when I say dieting, again, I said this in the first video, but it's really important to stress this. When I say dieting, I am not advocating that you starve yourself or that you do some crazy juice fast or anything like that. Those kinds of diets do not create sustainable weight loss. Sustainable weight loss only comes when you change your entire diet permanently. I don't mean dieting as in restricting yourself temporarily to get to some goal that you've set for yourself and then you're gonna just eat whatever you want again. If you do that, you're just gonna balloon back out to what you were in no time and hurt your metabolism along the way. If you change your diet permanently by substituting healthier foods for less healthy foods, then your weight loss can be sustainable. I'm not advocating that you eat less necessarily, I'm advocating that you eat better food. And a lot of the time it does mean eating a little bit less because we eat more than we need to eat. So let me give you a couple of studies that support all of this. One study was conducted a few years ago where they took a group of women who for 12 months, these women, this group of women agreed to exercise and not change the way that they ate. During those 12 months, these women were jogging or something. I think they were jogging. So during those 12 months, the average woman in this study lost, uh, what was it, 4.4 pounds. The average woman in this study lost 4.4 pounds. When they calculated how much time each of these women had to spend actually jogging, they figured that that meant that you had to jog for a total of 38 hours for each pound that you lost. 38 hours is a long time to exercise to just lose one pound, but that's what these women did. Another study actually broke their participants up into four groups, and there were about 400 participants in this study. This study was conducted in 2014. I'm, I'm not going to link to these studies. You can go find this information. Like I said, just Google this. Just go Google diet versus exercise, and you're going to find all kinds of things like this. This particular study that I'm talking about now came from a New York Times article from 2015 where they were talking about a study that was done in 2014 where about 400 women were studied, and they broke those, that group up into four other groups, a group that only changed their diet, a group that only exercised without changing their diet, a group that both changed their diet and exercised, and then a control group that did nothing different. The control group over the 12-month study did not lose a significant amount of weight. The group that changed their diet without exercising lost 8.5% of their body weight over those 12 months. 8.5% of their body weight. Just do a quick calculation. Type in your body weight to a calendar and multiply that by 0.85 or is it 0 0.085? I don't know. You figure it out. Figure out what 8.5% of your body weight is and then ask yourself how much you would like to lose that much weight. That's a huge amount of weight to lose. 8.5% of your body weight is great. That's what these women lost just changing their diet for 12 months. The group that only exercised lost 2.4% of their body weight. 2.4% by just exercising. 8.5% by just changing their diet. That's three and a half times more weight loss for the group that changed their diet only than the group that exercised only. And then for the group that, that changed their diet and exercised, they lost a total of 10.8% of their body weight over the study. That's four and a half times more than the people who just exercised. I've heard people say this on, on websites like bodybuilder.com and places like that that are totally into exercise. Even the people who are super into exercise will tell you, you can undo everything you do in the gym by what you do in the kitchen. So if you're gonna 
If you really want to lose weight, your diet is the most important element, and it will be best if you exercise and change your diet. But if you could only do one, your diet makes a much bigger difference. So, um, in saying all of this, let me be clear. I am not advocating that you don't exercise. I'm not currently exercising because I am lazy. I'm going to change that when things start warming up again. I'll start jogging again. And the benefits of this diet that I'm eating right now will be even greater as I exercise. Plus, there are a ton of benefits to exercising that don't have to do with weight loss. If your only goal is to lose weight, diet is going to be more effective than exercise. But if your goal is to be healthy overall, you really should exercise. There are cardiovascular benefits that you get from exercise that you could never get from any diet. There are musculoskeletal benefits to exercise that you can't get from any diet. There are pulmonary benefits and neurological benefits and people who are exercising are less depressed. There's mental health benefits. There's all kinds of benefits that come from exercise that you can't get from diet alone. But if we're just talking about losing weight, your diet makes a bigger difference. Anyway, that's enough about that. Um, as far as what I ate this last week, I ate a lot of the same breakfasts that I talked about at the, in the first few videos. Uh, a lot of oatmeal with berries in the morning and uh, a lot of yogurt or um, or eggs with vegetables. Those were kind of my three breakfasts I kind of cycled through. Uh, lunches were a lot of veggie sandwiches and, and a lot of the same things that I talked about in the last video. I'll leave a link to a couple different ideas that you can use. I'm not tired of these things. Some people might might hear that and think, oh well aren't you getting bored of eating the same things over and over and over again. Here's the thing. Everybody eats the same things over and over again. Whether you're trying to eat a healthy diet or not, you're probably eating the same things all the time. You're probably eating the same kinds of breakfasts, the same kinds of lunches. Really, the most variety that we have in our diets usually comes in at dinner time. So, so don't worry about it, you know, being limited or whatever. And and as I keep going, I'll find different breakfasts and different lunches to add to my rotation that I enjoy. And that'll be great. Um, as far as dinners this last week, uh, there were two that stand out to me. Um, uh, that we did. We, we made a Mediterranean lasagna, which I don't know how it was healthy. It still had a ton of cheese, but it was a meatless lasagna and it was quite good. I'll leave the recipe in in the description below. I'll put a link. Um, and the other meal was a lentil soup that was not good and I wouldn't recommend it and therefore will not be linking to that. Uh, but if you can find a healthy lentil soup that has lots of vegetables in it and tastes good, well, that's a good, that's a great dinner for you. So, so check that out. I will leave a link in the description to a couple other recipes you might want to try. Um, but uh, as far as this diet goes for me personally right now, I'm super excited. I'm very happy with what I've seen so far in just two weeks. I, I intend to continue doing this and, and see how much I can lose over a longer period of time. I'm down. I have not seen the number 200 on a scale with no other numbers behind it. Uh, that it's been a long time. It's probably been two and a half years since I saw uh, a weight that's as low as what I saw um, at the beginning of day 15. So I'm super, super happy with the results. And uh, I'll, I'll come back next week and tell you how things have kept going.